I'm Tom, Alchemy Wizard. Bad news this week. Laser died. Now, at first, I was a little upset about it because I've been doing all of these video work on this laser and uh, I had a lot of plans for it. With funding being tight, placing the laser really wasn't an option in, in my uh, situation right now. So I uh, sent an email the manufacturer they promptly got back to me and I was very surprised uh, they're going to send a uh, replacement unit out Woo but let me just say that I have used this thing since I got it in September every single day probably eight hours a day burning nanoparticles and of course it's a laser etcher it's not designed for nanoparticles we're using it in a way that it was never designed to do. So, uh, the, the, the fact that the laser burned out after uh, two months is not unexpected because of the amount of work uh, that I put this laser through. A normal person buying a laser like this might use it one or two hours a day if they're lucky. They're not going to certainly use it the way we've been using this thing. We, we've been using this as the holy grail of nanoparticles, and it pr pretty much really is. Now, the problem is that at first I thought the laser burned out because we just I just overworked it, used it too much. It didn't live up to the, uh, the specs on the laser, which said that it, it was good for eight hour or more continuous duty usage, plus um, thousands of laser hours. So I was kind of disappointed when the laser burned out. But then contacting the manufacturer, they sent me an email back and explained about the things that can cause the laser to burn out prematurely. And one of the things on the list there, besides keeping it clean and wiping the uh, lens every now and then and making sure the, the machine is oiled, one of the things they said was highly reflective metals can burn the laser out because the, the light will, laser light will bounce back into the laser and burn itself out. And that's exactly what happened. I used a highly reflective metal in the machine and the 5 watt laser is a little underpowered and I was having trouble with this metal trying to create nanoparticles out of it so I even made the situation worse by slowing the laser down into a really tiny range a very small range it was just going back and forth like this maybe a couple millimeters I thought if I focused the beam in a single spot it would heat the the metal up enough so that we could, I could get a substantial amount of nanoparticles to come out of here without having to just run the thing for 10, 12, 15 hours, which is what it was going into. In this case, I think a more powerful laser for some of these metals, like a 10 watt or a 20 watt laser, would probably be better than the 5 watt laser. So it wasn't the laser didn't give out because it we worked it too hard. It gave out because we didn't use it properly. So we're brainstorming right now uh, you know, ways that we could get around this little problem here. Uh, one of them is just uh, uh, putting it on a tilt, angling the metal up on a little bit of a tilt, and aiming the laser so it goes someplace safe instead of up into the uh, lens. So we're going to still continue to brainstorm. I can't do anything with the laser for another week until the new laser comes. So in the meantime, I'm going to work on this problem. And uh, hopefully we'll have it all worked out so we can get back to making our nanoparticles with the laser. I'm Tom, Alchemy Wizard. Have a great day.